Come on. With a pit bull named Hope. It's okay, good girl. Who has a leg amputated because of dog fighting. Yeah. It's no wonder those who rescued her are strongly against even the virtual version. But it's not just a game. It's a training ground for wannabe dog fighters. It is animal cruelty. It's illegal. But it's out there, downloaded more than 50,000 times on the Android market. Dog Wars lets you raise a dog, train it, even buy steroids for it. Then you pit it one-on-one -on -one against dogs other people have raised. For some, it's a scenario just a little too close to the real thing. Maybe there should be a game out there about child molestation because then it would just be a game also. It's taking the voiceless and making them victims. The developers argue the game is a satire of the illegal activity. They point out there are all kinds of games out there that show virtual drug dealing, prostitution, even killing. And they say by rating Dog Wars as high maturity, they weren't violating any of Google's terms for the Android market. But it's not appealing at all to me. But even gamers who play the fighting and shooting games seem to have reservations when dogs are involved. I don't know if it should be banned. It's kind of like a freedom of speech thing, isn't it? But I don't think it, me or any of the people I associate with will have anything to do with it. And animal rights activists say that freedom of speech should not be at the expense of those they consider helpless, real or virtual. The game, by the way, was never available for the iPhone, and until today, it was available as a free download on the Android market. Google has not said whether it pulled the game for good or whether it's just temporarily under review. Live from Satellite Control, I'm Owen Lay, King 5 News.